John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for my weekly video blog. You know, this week I wanted to talk about public speaking and having cerebral palsy. You know, those of us with CP, uh, when we sometimes when we get nervous, uh, our muscles tremble and, and, and shake. Maybe that's true for everyone, but I think it's especially true. Uh, for people like myself with cerebral palsy. There was a time when, when I would stand up in front of people and shake. And, and I tell the story of, of an incident happening when I had to receive an award, uh, had the honor of receiving an award on board ship, standing in front of my troops and shaking like, like a leaf. And when I say shaking, I'm not talking about a little little tremble. I'm talking about your whole body almost spasming. And uh, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, because now, as, as amazing as it sounds, I, I work as a motivational and inspirational speaker uh, traveling around the country telling my story. And I love standing in front of people now and, and sharing my story. So I, I wanted to give a couple of pieces of advice, especially maybe for, for kids who uh, have cerebral palsy or just kids uh, maybe that uh, have to give presentations in school uh, and, and you get nervous and, and, and all that. So what, what advice would I give to somebody who has to do any, any public speaking? I think the key for me is, number one, uh, know that if you're standing up in front of a group of people, People want to hear what you have to say, uh, and look at your, you know, think of yourself as the expert in whatever topic you're talking about. You know, when I'm when I'm giving a presentation in front of people, you know, I'm sharing my life story. You know, and people are, you know, they're generally very receptive to what I have to say. So. Think about that the next time you have to give a class project or something like that. And just, you know, think of yourself as, hey, I'm the expert. And people are really interested in what I have to say and, and get excited about giving, you know, giving out your information, whatever it might be. I think it's very important also uh, to do a lot of uh, practice, to have an outline in front of you, um, maybe off to the side. What I do is when I'm talking, you know, I'll, I'll talk and then I'll look down and I've got like a one line sentence of, of, of a topic that I want to talk about. And just seeing that topic keeps me on track. I can look down and go, oh yeah, I want to talk about that without picking up the paper, looking at it, setting it down. I can just glance and, and keep keep the dialogue moving, you know. But it takes, it takes a lot of practice. I practice, you know. Um, I put in a lot of hard work to try and make uh, the topics that I talk about as natural and easy going as, as possible. So that's, that's what I would do. Um, but don't, don't worry. You know, I think the other part of it, too, is to not worry if you make a mistake. I... I uh, I traveled to Newark, New Jersey a couple of weeks ago uh, to give a presentation at a Fortune 500 company. And you know what happened? They lost my luggage. The airline lost my luggage. So I didn't have my suit and my, you know, my business style clothes with me. So I walk into this big office building uh, in uh, blue jeans and uh, running shoes. You know, and, and hey, they're paying me to be there, and I'm, you know, I'm still excited to be there. But I had to explain uh, to the crowd exactly what happened with my luggage, and people are understanding. You know, it, you just do the best you can, and I think that is is really good advice. It sounds pretty simple, but if you make a mistake, just 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 know that you're doing your best, and. Uh, um, People, people understand. You know, most people are very uh, caring and, and understanding. So, practice, 
look at yourself as the expert um, and just do your best. I think those are those are some great uh, tips if you have to do public speaking. Uh, and especially with cerebral palsy, you know, just just relax and breathe while, you know, breathe and uh, just just have fun. Enjoy it. And uh, who knows, one day um, you might uh, enjoy public speaking yourself. It's, it's really, I guess, it's the top fear that a lot of people have. So I had a great week. I was in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania this past week talking to the uh, Pennsylvania Disability Employment and Empowerment Council. They had uh, some top leaders in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, there and I was, I gave the keynote uh, speech on the first day about just sharing my story and I got to meet so many wonderful people and uh, I got to meet a lot of great business leaders from uh, Walgreens to Hershey to uh, Crayola Crayon, some some of the top uh, governor uh, government officials in the state of uh, Pennsylvania, Secretary of Labor, of Education and Transportation. Really nice people, trying to do their best and learning a lot about uh, people with disabilities and trying to improve life for people with disabilities when it comes to employment opportunities in the, in the great state of Pennsylvania. So, had a lot of fun and uh, thank you Pennsylvania for your hospitality. You guys were wonderful. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if you haven't read my book, please do. Someone like me. Uh, check out my website, John W. Quinn, Q-U-I-N-N. -N dot com and uh, let's do it again next week guys take care bye bye